everything animatronic spirit of Halloween 9 and welcome everyone to another video today guys as you can see I got another new animatronic to uh, reveal to everyone and that is double trouble well you can't see the name it's covered up by the sticker but I went ahead and purchased double trouble um, this was a leftover animatronic from 2019 and I thought it'd be kind of cool to um, you know, buy it, purchase it, see what it was like, and uh, kind of give you guys some of my thoughts and to kind of show you guys what this thing is like. So if you guys see these or if you want one, maybe it's on eBay. Um, or if your store has any carryover from last year, you can go in and purchase it. So right away, the box design uh, is pretty good. Now, keep in mind, this animatronic was uh, revealed to us in 2018. And um, while it was first sold in 2018, uh, the model that I have is actually the 2019 model. Because remember, they sold it in 2018 and they brought it back in 2019. So this is the model because they changed the box designs to this in 2019. But as you can see on the box, it says mirrored movements simultaneously speak for creepy phrases. Uh, infrared sensor, battery compatible, step pad activated. Or try me button activated, which is pretty nice. Box says the same thing. Oops, sorry. Box says the same thing. And then they have a little story on the back here. This is what you would have seen on the website. As you can see, it's foot pad, try me button. It's got volume control. It comes with a six volt two amp adapter. It can use a speaker jack. Or it can use an external speaker. Uh, it can use that little battery box that they started selling last year. And it only requires three AA batteries. And you can even use the multi-prop remote, which is pretty dang awesome. Now here's the price of the animatronic. Um, as you can see, it's scratched off, but basically almost $200. And I'm gonna be honest right up front, I don't really think that this thing's worth $200. Uh, the quality control isn't terrible on this thing, but it's not good enough to be $200 worthy, so. But I'll get into that uh, a little in a bit here in this video. But anyways, that's the price. And of course, here is the animatronic all set up. I didn't want to show you guys me unboxing her, just because this is one of those animatronics where you, yes, you can technically still get it from Spirit, but only if it's carryover from last year or if you want to buy one on eBay. It's not one of those things where it, they're brand new right out of the box, hot off the assembly line. They're, you know, still kinda, they're kind of hidden a little bit. So, but anyways, this is what they look like. Pan down here, there's the setup, as you can see it's pretty easy. Now you might be noticing why there's nothing connected to there. There's actually supposed to be one of those pieces connected to there. One of those middle pieces, I don't know if you can see that, one of those middle pieces with the legs but unfortunately mine did not come with all the pieces. So unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to do a proper setup of her as well because it's missing pieces. But I can do this unboxing overview thing for you guys. So here's the inside of the mechanisms and modules. As you can see this is the secondary one so where all the jacks would be. This is just a fake. So don't put batteries in this fake one. Uh, there's no contacts or anything. This is the, if I had this thing pointing towards me set up, this would be the left one. As you can see, you can get a better idea of how the mechanism is constructed. It's very simplistic. The gearbox is the easiest, the most simplistic I've ever seen it, even for a head turning animatronic. So here's a look of the one that actually has all the electronics in the circuit boards. You can see there's the volume control, speaker jack, try me button, and the six volt adapter, which is included, it's a six volt two amp. And you can see inside the mechanism. There are relay switches inside of this head turning piece under this piece. So if those break, uh, it's actually pretty easy to get to. Um, all you have to do is undo that screw and as you can see, it's right underneath there. So repairs to this thing are gonna be pretty easy. And as you can see, there's the infrared sensor right there. All hooked up and nice and ready to go. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these two twins on just to show you guys what they look like when they're turned on. Although I'm pretty sure you guys already know what they look like when they're running. But I figured I might do it anyways just for the heck of it. Summer is hot, winter is cold, but we don't feel a thing and we'll never get old. <laughs> People think 
think we want to be like them. But pretty soon, they'll all be like us. <laughs> So there you guys have it. This has been uh, the Double Trouble um, unboxing slash overview. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys have any questions for me, be sure to leave them down in the comment section below. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, be sure to comment, subscribe, smack the bell notification, and as always, be scary, be spooky, and I'll catch you guys on the flip side.